the list of biz businesses, excuse me, globally engaging in self-sanctioning against Russia continues to grow, but is the reason for doing so purely on moral grounds, or are there other factors driving the exodus? We're here with more on that is Yahoo Finance's Karina Mitchell. Karina. Okay, well, British luxury brand Burberry is the latest to join the exodus. It is shutting temporarily its three stores in Russia. And she has three of them. One is a franchisee. One of them is a big store in Moscow in the famous Red Square. But it's all on the back of other brands that have turned their back on Russia in recent days. Those include the likes of Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton and Prada, as well as Caring, which is a French multinational specializing in luxury goods. It owns brands including Balenciaga, Gucci, Alexander McQueen and Yves Saint Laurent. All that despite luxury labels being exempted from EU sanctions. So meaning, at least for right now, countries like uh, France and Italy can legally export goods to Russia. But Burberry's move actually comes after it already announced last week it had halted deliveries to those three stores. The reason it did so wasn't just purely altruistic. I need to point that out. It was dealing with what it called, said, quote, operational challenges. And that decision to stop shipments to the country already effectively shut its online operations in yesterday. So as of yesterday, Burberry's Russian online site has been removed though access is still available across other parts of Eastern Europe, including Estonia, Romania, Latvia, and Poland. Cementing their inability to operate in Russia was the fact that, think about it, Amex, Visa, MasterCard pulled out of the country, resulting in transactions being blocked and SWIFT sanctions, flight bans, shipping sanctions from the likes of DHL and FedEx. Literally, it makes it virtually impossible to get any of these goods into Russia, Brian. I'm going to pick it up here, Karine, because I'm curious how valuable these Russian customers are when it, when we're talking about all these luxury goods. Yeah, for sure. That's a great question because, you know, think about it. They are valuable. You know, Russians are big spenders, whether they're in Russia or they're outside of Russia. So slapping the wealthy with these sort of sanctions and then also sort of, you know, stopping them from being able to transact with credit cards, it definitely weighs, right? So Jeffrey says that Russians account for about $9 billion worth of luxury spending. So to help put that into context, that's about 14 percent of what the U.S. spends on luxury goods and about 6 percent. Um, of what the Chinese, you know, spend on luxury goods. So is it a colossal amount? No, but is it significant? For sure. And what's really interesting is what these wealthy Russians were doing before these stores closed down, which is basically they were flocking into these luxury brands and buying up everything they could. Also, they could amass some sort of wealth as the currency there basically collapses. The ruble is worth something like less than 1% in dollar terms right now. So again, it's not chum change that Russians spend. And these brands are trying to be very, very careful in their messaging because in the long term, they don't want to lose these Russian customers if they don't have to. Chanel actually put out a statement, which hopefully we can pull it up right now. It says, in part, given our increasing concerns about the current situation, Chanel decided to temporarily pause its business in Russia. The safety of our employees is our priority, and we remain closely connected to our local teams who we will continue to support. LVMH also out with a similar message saying it will support its 3,500 employees that it currently has in Russia. It will continue to pay them and, in fact, has also made a sizable contribution uh, a donation to the International Red Cross to help Ukrainians there as well. So making sure to play both sides of the aisle very, very carefully. But listen, luxury stocks have taken a big hit. Burberry shares down more than 20 percent just over the week. LVMH down by about 17 percent. Even Ralph Lauren, it says about a quarter of its sales are tied to Europe also getting hammered. So it just goes to show you that every sector is impacted. Everyone just wants this to end. Uh, indeed, they do. And indeed, this is uh, not chump change. Yahoo Finance's Karina Mitchell. Thanks so much.